What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Q1 2018 Model 3 production. The official numbers for this are coming out in early April. We'll test what we're reporting. It's official deliveries for the quarter, but we already have so much data out there. There's only a week or two left that I wanted to guesstimate what I think Tesla's gonna report because I think we already have a pretty good handle on this information. So first, let's run through my data sources to get you guys where I'm coming up with this estimate. The first data source I'm using is Inside EV's monthly plug-in sales card. They do an awesome report once a month of the best-selling plug-in cars in the U.S. The Model 3 has been the number one best-selling electric vehicle in both January and February. So if we combine the January and February 2018 sales for the Model 3, according to Inside EVs, we are getting sales of 4,360 cars for the first two months of this year. Yes, these are only US sales, but I'm pretty sure the Model 3 is only delivering in the US for now, so we'll count that as accurate. Now, the question is how many cars is Tesla delivering in March? Earlier in a couple uh, episodes prior, I estimated that there were port sales of 3,000 units for the Model 3, a slight increase from February, a record for the company. That would lead to total Model 3 sales in Q1 2018 of 7,000 360 units. And I'm sticking 100% by that number. I've seen a bunch of other data come out in the last couple of days that seems to confirm this and seems to be like it's right on track. So let's get into that too. The other big piece of thing that I'm looking at is the Bloomberg VIN tracker. Now VIN vehicle identification numbers are something that Tesla and every automaker has to file with the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration and are an excellent clue of how production is trending. So Bloomberg built this really nifty tool to kind of you know extrapolate based on the VIN data exactly what is happening with Model 3 production. You guys should all check it out, link in the description. According to their weekly estimates of sales numbers, the Model 3 has been averaging production of about 700 units per week throughout March. If you do 700 times about four or four and a half weeks that are in March, then you get right around to about 3,000 units in March. So that also is confirming my estimate of 3,000 units in March, the Bloomberg VIN tracker. Another way to look at this is the, Bloom, the Bloomberg VIN tracker has total production of about 10,500 Model 3s through March 21st, 2018. And remember, about 2,700 of those units were actually delivered prior to Q1. So if we re remove that, there has been about 7,000 800 Model 3s produced so far in Q1, according to Bloomberg. If we extrapolate that rate of you know 700 to 1,000 per week for the last 10 days of the quarter, maybe Tesla builds another 1,000 cars, we're looking at production, according to the Bloomberg tracker, of about 8,800 Model 3s in Q1. Now, I'm assuming that not all of those productions will actually be deliveries. Maybe there's some errors. You know, Maybe the VIN number's overestimating it. They're gonna be putting some cars in showrooms, maybe letting people do test drive events. I don't think all of those cars will be delivered. I'm assuming that about 1,500 of that 8,800 never actually go to customers. Maybe they're in transit. Maybe they just aren't meant for customers, et cetera, but I wanted to be conservative. So that also gets me to around 7,300 Model 3s delivered in Q1. Yeah, so that's kind of the data I'm looking at. I mean, Bloomberg has done a phenomenal job at decoding this VIN data. And if you add that into what Inside EVs has projecting and sort of just anecdotal evidence of invites going out at not too much of an increased rate, it seems pretty linear, then I'm very, very comfortable predicting that Tesla will deliver or sell about 3,000 units of the Model 3 in March. And if we add that into our monthly sales forecast from Inside EVs, here's the chart right here, you will see that that tallies up to 7,360 Model 3 deliveries in Q1. So this is the number that I'm going with. Um, this is probably going to be a huge letdown to a lot of people. This was frankly way below what I thought Tesla would produce in Q1 when the quarter started. I thought it would be probably at least 10,000 cars, but you know, production has met, seen a ton of delays. But what's really going to be important beyond even these deliveries, when Tesla reports its official numbers, is the production run rate. Tesla has promised investors that they will be able to meet a production run rate of 2,500 Model 3s per week by the end of this quarter, which is only in 10 days. Throughout the entire quarter, they've been nowhere near that production run rate. As I said, in March, it appears they're only doing about seven to 750 a week. So for them to you know, quadruple production in the last couple weeks of the quarter is basically what needs to happen for them to hit their guidance. I, I think Tesla will try and spin the results and say that like, oh, we are producing cars at about 2,500 per week right as the quarter ended, but you know, 
I, I don't know. So I, I don't know if they're going to have to guide that down again, but I think Tesla, uh, according to the data I'm looking at, is, is really struggling to meet these targets. And for those of you guys who've been following, you know that these targets have been continually pushed back by Tesla. You know, they're supposed to hit 5,000 Model 3s per week by the end of Q2 2018. You know, now that is going to come really into question as well if they can't even hit the 2,500. A ton of weight is riding on Tesla for these Model 3 deliveries. Why is a ton of weight riding on Tesla? The company is extraordinarily unprofitable and losing a ton of free cash cash flow while they're producing Model 3s at this run rate. They're not producing them profitly at a high gross margin at all until they can start building many, many more cars. And until that happens, they're going to be burning through their cash pile. So, you know, if Tesla cannot significantly increase Model 3 production in the very near term, like three weeks, then they're probably going to have to do a capital raise of at least a couple billion dollars to get them through this trough. Personally, as a long-term investor, I'm not really scared or worried about this at all. You know, a little dilution doesn't hurt me. Tesla is really trying to ramp production in an incredible way from, you know, just zero with the Model 3 to a couple hundred thousand units per year. That's not going to be easy. And they're going through a ton of growing pains. But in the long term, I do think they will solve it. So I'm not worried, but the market may be disappointed by these numbers. Really, if you take a step back and you look at these, you know, quarterly deliveries by Model 3, things are going pretty well, you know, from 222 units to just above 1500 to now over 7,000 and probably, you know, 15 to 20,000 at least in my estimation for Q2. So, you know, still a lot of growth here. Anyway, this wraps up my guesstimation for Model 3 deliveries in Q1, 7,360 units. We'll see what happens. I'm stoked to read the report. Let me know what you guys are guessing for Model 3 sales in the comments below. Will Tesla be able to hit his production run rate as well? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, this is Hyper Change. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.